Good morning and welcome to day four, four of our Alaska cruise on board Royal Caribbean Ovation of the Seas. Today we're on our way to Skagway um, and we're like almost there. It's about like 6.30 I think in the morning and we're supposed to get there at 8.30. Um, but I mean, it smells like a Christmas tree out here as Devin <laughs> said this morning. And it does, it smells like pine trees. This is a pine forest, and not even Tahoe smells like this. Mm -mm. Well, it's really pretty. And the water is really cool the way it's like reflecting the light. That looks green, too. And in the distance, we think that must be Skagway because you can see another cruise ship down there. Yeah, there's one way, way down in the distance. I think you can, you can just barely make it out. It's like right there, it's the tip of my finger. There's also snow on that mountain over there, and you can kind of see it up yeah. there, but you can see it clearly over there. I think our, our weather thinks it was 52 right now. Yeah. I just can't get over how big these mountains are. Mm-hmm. So we have mountains, but not like, not like this. Yeah, we do. We have mountains like this. Mountains Not all covered over the place. In, in trees. We're never this close to it unless we go to Tahoe. It was pretty though. But we're gonna head down to Windjammer because we need to eat breakfast and then um, meet for our excursion is at 8.15 so we don't have a lot of time this morning to just dilly dally. But maybe when we eat breakfast and come back up here we can uh, look more. Hopefully we can get a spot by the window. Alright, breakfast time. So we got pretty standard fare. Yeah, the same kind of thing. They didn't have the chocolate croissant, so I'm gonna try a chocolate donut this time. Looks pretty good. Same, same. They keep switching up the potato placement on me, so I got breakfast potatoes again. <laughs> Even oh, okay. though Lauren was able to find the hash browns. <laughs> yeah, they're in the same spot as yesterday. No, oh, okay. Uh, but in the way to, in the way to Windjammer, we found this little guy. Duck. So, uh, Salvation of the Seas uh, from the Jordans. So, shout out to the Jordans. Mm-hmm. We'll have to rehide it on our way out. Yeah. <clears throat> so somebody's flipping through the channels, and yeah. the channels, and they they spent a really long time on our Christmas channel. Mm-hmm. It was weird. Once they got in trouble, <laughs> someone stuck their head in the booth and said, "Stop it." That was weird. Now we're on Katy Perry. <laughs> Pretty crazy. Hey, this place is pretty cool, babe. <laughs> yeah. We came up Windjammer from the stairs at the back. So if you go outside Windjammer, there's these stairs that go right up. <clears throat> Just so we could see like the right. fuller view. Would be cool. Pretty spectacular. So I'm gonna back away from Lauren a little bit just to kind of get the scope of what we're seeing here. <clears throat> I got Watch the people that are trying to walk. Got him. More that makes you mad. <laughs> it's pretty. This looks like some sort of silt or something is being kicked up in the bottom there. Duck relocated. And the bears. Walk into the front of the ship now. Denver wants to see if you can see what the other ships are that are at dock. It's about 7 11. So we have to be in the theater for our excursion at 8 15. It's nice that they're not playing. Music outside. Yeah, yesterday, I love that. yesterday they said it's because of like local noise ordinances that they can't be blasting music and stuff. But I think it's a better fit for the environment anyway. Yeah, I'm good with that. To Honestly, not have if they, it playing. If they just stop doing that all the time, I'd be okay with that. Yeah, me too. 
we have the Norwegian Sun and the Celebrity something, but it's not the Solstice. So we were paired with the Solstice and then it disappeared into the Alaskan sunset. <laughs> Still not sure what that other one is. Mm -mm. Yeah, you look dramatic. Do I have the lighting? The lighting, it's very dramatic. I know, I don't know why it's dark up here. So we're, we're in the theater for our excursion check-in, just like yesterday. So we're 14 now, and then we, we have to wait until they call us, and then we go outside. And we get to see puppies. Yeah, I'm really excited. So we're at Skagway, Alaska, and our... I don't think I said it in this video. Our excursion is called Dog Sled right, and Mushers Camp Experience. So if you like it, now, I want you to have a look if you like what you see, book this one. <laughs> off our bus. This is ridiculous, Lauren. Really pretty. Crossed over a little bridge, a little bit of water, there's all these wildflowers. Now we're walking a little bit. Do you hear waterfalls and stuff? Yeah. I don't know if it's waterfalls or just like the river or something like that. Skagway River. The Landscape is really reminding us of Iceland. Yeah, yeah, this is ridiculous. Go flash back to the first episode of our. Well, Iceland. even the southern coast when right. we were at um, those two waterfalls. Like Daddy Foss and Skoga Foss and all that. Yeah, not those ones though. The one that you got <laughs> to walk behind, and then we had to walk to that other one with the big rock. Yeah, that one was blue for Bowie. Yeah, and then the one by it. I thought that one was Skogafoss. No, Skogafoss is the one that you filmed that, I thought. Oh. Anyway, but it had all these wildflowers and stuff there, too. It was really pretty. Yeah, it was just gorgeous fields, just yeah. as far as the eye could see. And that's the exact same thing. We're coming up to the bathroom break, so I'm going to do that. So this is a really cool sign here. <laughs> So there's that there. I'm not sure if you can see the sign back there. It says dog warts. It's right there. That's hilarious. There's definitely some sort of water back there. I really want to go look at it, but I don't think I can go that far. I'm going to get yelled at by these, by these people. <laughs> So there's two things I want to show you. One is that mushroom camp. Okay. One is what? The mushroom camp thing. It's a really cool sign. Very cute. Can we take our picture? Yes. Also, I need you to poke your head over to the side and find the Harry Potter reference inside. Inside there? Inside there. You don't have to go inside of it. You just can poke your head. Oh, um, that's really cute. Dog warts. <laughs> that's adorable. Okay, take our picture. So these little dog sculpt sculptures just all over the place. So above the purple iris right there, there's dogs getting their photo taken. This, this place is adorable. Mm -hmm. There's a dog playing with a ball on the souvenir sign. There's one howling up on the Malamute Saloon. This is really cute. I love it. It's a cute little setup. Yeah. I think we have to get on that big ATV thing. Oh, for Christ's sake. And go up. 
I didn't realize this was off-roading mm -hmm. and also maybe a dog. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Hi, everybody. Here? Yeah, they said this car's there. Oh, no, we're gonna get to be in the front. We're in the front. Hi! Hi, Hi. Hi guys. Hi. Okay, we can get in. She's like, get She's in, in here. Yeah. Hi, guys. <laughs> They're excited. <laughs> They're ready. <laughs> I think they know him. He's ready to go. Big sad one. Yeah, Oh my god! This is the coolest thing ever! <laughs> and they just know where to go? <laughs> Oh my god. There's no motor on this part. We have 16 in front of us. This is so cool. They're so cute. <laughs> wow. Yeah, we've got four teams up here. In our dog yard, we have 230 dogs. They have this big open space of 230 dog this houses. Is, this is wild. We're going to fast. I know. <laughs> Hello from Voiceoverland. I just wanted to kind of quickly explain some parts of this while you watch the dogs running at supersonic speed. Um, so this was one of the coolest things we've probably ever done in our entire lives. Like I think both Devin and I would agree that this was absolutely incredible. Um, so this part, this first part where um, we're on the slide with the dogs, probably can last it for like six or seven minutes. Um, and then at one point she stops the cart while we're still staying on the cart. Um, and she goes and she took our phones and she like took some photos of the dogs and then us like in the cart with the dogs and that sort of thing. Uh, and then she also brought around one of the dogs, took them off of the... Um, you know, the lead that they're on, whatever you want to call it. I'm not a, a dog expert. <laughs> um, and brought one of those back to the cart so that we can meet the dogs. Um, and this just gave the dogs a chance to kind of take a break, that sort of thing. And then we um, continued on for like another minute or two. So probably in, in total, we were like on the sled and with the dogs in this kind of environment for... I don't know, maybe like 10, 12 minutes, like somewhere in that range, maybe up to like 15, somewhere in there. Um, and it was just absolutely incredible. And then as you'll see in the next couple of clips, once our ride was done, we were able to meet some of the dogs that were on our um, little team that were pulling us. And it was so much fun. The dogs were so energetic. They just had the, the best time. They were so sweet. Um, and the trainer that we were with you know taught us a lot about like the dogs and their personality how they're bred um how their training sort of works what they're trained for all the different things that they kind of do to take care of the pets you know what they eat where they sleep all of that sort of stuff um so it was really educational and just tons of fun it was 
absolutely incredible. And I highly recommend this experience to anyone. Um, I think you could hear in our voices and see on our faces and everything that we just had an absolutely incredible time. And I feel so lucky that we were able to go to Alaska and actually meet some sled dogs and do this uh, experience. Absolutely incredible. So again, highly recommend it um, to anyone. <laughs> Hi, everybody. Hi, hey, pumpers. Hi, hey, puppies. All their little shoes. I know. <clears throat> All right, Lauren. This is a Go Vando. It's called a Dando. Hi. A Vando is the name of a town in Montana. Hi. A lot of uh, these Hi. dogs are named after towns in Montana. Hi. Hey, sweet puppies. Hi. And you guys can go in and give them pets. Vando's really sweet, and then Willow is right next to a Vando. I know. I'm trying to get a picture of you. I love them all. all right. So here we have Decker and Sako. Sako is the youngest on the team. She's only one. And then this one is Decker. Hi, Decker. Hey. Hi. Hi. I make friends over there. <laughs> all right. Oh, where are you going? I don't think that I don't think you're gonna fit hey. that. Yeah. You can get these pants as dirty as you want. Yes, <laughs> that's what they're for. Yes, yes, yes. Oh my gosh. And then that's dinosaur. Oh, are you using my pants to itch your face? <laughs> Hi. Huh? <laughs> Covered in dog hair and slobber. Mission. Success. Mission accomplished. <laughs> get my pants. <laughs> We wore these clothes specifically for this, so. <laughs> yes. This good. one keeps like rubbing his nose like on my pants. Yeah. This dog like here, itching. Medusa, Medusa, she keeps leaning on people. I'm pulling her poor friend off into the, <laughs> into the water. Hey, buddy. Oh, you're, you're awake. Hi. This is a dinosaur. Hey, buddy. So, you having a good time? Yeah. Good. This is amazing. Oh. Oh no! Uh -oh. That's supposed to be the sign that we're supposed to load up. Bummer. I love you. Thank you for the ride. <clears throat> that was amazing. That was, was the coolest thing ever. Quite cool. That was like seriously the best. Once have the time of our life. Let's see what 
go. Yeah, we're Mount St. Helens. No, it's okay. Okay. Are you having just the best time there? You want to look at the other ones? I don't think we can hold them, but. Hi, friends. Wow, just eating the, the wood. Just eating it. Hi, bumpers. Oh, he went under. Hi, buddy. <laughs> so cute. Sorry. It's all right. I didn't want the dog to chew on it. So That's it down. perfectly fair, I think. It was so cute. Oh, nobody did. No, that was really cute. It's really cute. Oh, no, he is just looking away. Want to go check the gift shop out? Yeah, we can. Oh, you want to see Glacier? Or the, or the other dog? You know, I want to look too. Hi, baby. Hi, sweetie. Hi. Hi, puppy. All the puppies are getting attention. We want to come see hi, hi. to you. Hi. 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 Hi, sweetie. Are you <laughs> happy in retirement? I bet. Hi. You enjoying yourself? Do you smell the puppers? You smell the puppies upstairs and the little guys? Hi. Hi, sweetheart. So cute. Yes, hi, sweetie. Hi. Hi. Oh. Hi. <laughs> the back scratch. The puppers, huh? Oh. This is the weed, huh? Hi, the cutest thing. Um, I kind of like so this one. We found ornaments, yes. I like the mushers camp a lot. I also really like the moose on the snowmobile. Where is that? Top oh, left. Oh, that's cute. <laughs> what do you think? But which I, like one? The, I like the musher one better. Okay. Because yeah. it says where we were. Yeah. In case our memories fail. <gasps> it's a butterfly. So that was fun. That was we a had lot a really of fun. good time. I liked seeing all the dogs and the puppies at the end. Although the puppies did not like being out of their pen, they wanted to be in there still. But they were really cute and I loved them all. Did you have a good time, Devin? I had an amazing time. This was a lot of fun. Yeah. I love seeing all the nature and running on the dog sled. Yeah, that, that was, was that was incredible. my favorite part. That was so cool. So yeah, so the running was my favorite part and the nature and seeing, just kind of being here. Yeah. Just seeing their whole setup. Yeah, and all the dogs, oh my God. <laughs> the dogs are all so special. One of our crow friends are here. Hey, buddy. I loved it. Hell Hi. yeah, you love it too, don't you, buddy? I loved it. That was like the best thing ever. Highly recommend this excursion. I said the name of it earlier, but it's, uh, I was just. Alaska X, is that what it is? No, it's got like a whole name on Royal Caribbean. Alaska but I, X is the company. Yeah, I said it earlier. That was spectacular. I'm so glad we did it. Oh, such a good trip. Both two, two out of two amazing excursions. And right. I'm glad that we did both of them. They were well worth the money. And um, I'm super pumped. Now I'm a little nervous to do things on our own at the other <laughs> two stops. I'm like, these were so amazing. Can we possibly really, compete? We gotta be really prepared. Yeah, we possibly... Uh, might have ru ruined ourselves because we didn't book excursions. But I think we'll it'll see. be good. Yeah, the only one I'm nervous about is the glacier one because I think it might be a little tricky getting up to the glacier. Well, we can figure it well, out. Well, we will figure it out. Yeah. We can always look for an excursion if we really want to. But this is great. So now we're walking back towards where we'll get picked up by the bus to head back to the pier. Um, and then hopefully we'll still have some time to check out Skagway. We haven't eaten yet, so yeah. we could eat lunch at some point, right? Yeah, there was a you know a, shops and stuff like that here, but they weren't even open. Yeah, so as far the as, like, food, food and all that. So yeah, but we did get an ornament, so <laughs> goal accomplished there 
for sure. All right, well, we'll see you back down at the the pier, yeah, when we're yeah. looking around Skagway. God, this is pretty. <laughs> it is really pretty. So we've made it into downtown Skagway. Yeah. It's a cute, cute town. It is really cute. Oh it's my Virginia God. City esque. Yeah. It's, it's very. Only people from northern Nevada will get the like reference, probably. Gold Rush and mm -hmm. Frontier, and that's all like. Virginia City was the Silver Rush and Frontier Times. And yeah, it sure was. This is, I mean, you got you even got the wooden boardwalk you know, yeah. all over town. This so is astounding. We made it to the Skagway Pizza Parlor. We're just going to grab a quick pizza. Well, quick as in 15 minutes. We're going to do that, and then we're going to try to find the elephant ear, which looks yes. really good. It's down there somewhere. Okay. We'll yeah, I think this is just the main drag, right? So yeah. we can just kind of like walk down so from here. So it starts at Mexico <laughs> um, and goes all the way down there to uh, the cruise ship. Yeah. yeah it's kind of nice that you just go all the way down. Yeah. All and get that. back on the ship. It's about 12.06 right now. So we have a few hours. We have to get back. We have a reservation at 5.30 at Chops. And so we have to change and then get down to Chops. Right. We need we to get through all the crowd at the pier. Plenty of time. should be doable. Yeah. Lauren, I love Alaska. Me too. It's been is, fun. This place is amazing. This excursion today was great. I had a lot of fun. It's a puff. It's a puffin hat. That's cute. So this was the Skagway Trading Co? No, outlet something. Outlet, outlet store. Outlet store. Lots of <clears throat> stuff. Love the tie-dye. There's like an old stage. That's kind of cool. It's like an old, old Wild West theater. Lauren spotted a Radio Shack sign in the wild. I haven't seen one of those in a hot minute. So Ice Cream Line is nuts, but We've spotted the Christmas store. <laughs> All right, so we just got out of Klondike Doughboy Alaskan Fry Bread. Ooh, this thing is hot. <laughs> yeah, take a bite. Do you want me to get to the first one? Yeah, you have to. Oh my god. Is it good? Is it worth standing in a long line for? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. I want to try it. What's it taste like? Okay. Mm. It's pretty good. Right. Oh my god. Alaskan, Alaskan fry bread. Try it. It's really good. Yeah. <laughs> it was worth it. Klondike dough boy, baby. Pizza and fry bread. It was a good day. <laughs> and puppies. That's cool. That train did look fun. If we came back here, I would totally try it. Oh, absolutely. The one of my white pass one of my train. One of my bucket list things is to take the train over over Donner yeah. back home, you know, over to like Sacramento or whatever. Because mm -hmm. I hear it's absolutely stunning. So you get to go through all the mountains. Mm -hmm. So I'm sure this is really similar. This one apparently you have to have your passport for. I guess it goes over the Canadian border slightly. So. Uh oh. That's kind of interesting, huh? <laughs> But it looks like a fun one. Yeah. I totally do. There were a lot of people on it this Yeah, morning this too. morning, yeah. It was like the f the whole first floor, or fourth floor, or deck. Yeah, of the theater. 
of the theater, yeah. It was three different groups of this, and it was just huge. Big old train. Oh, now we Big old train. <laughs> you walk around the train. We're off the beaten path here a little bit. That's crazy. Just look at that. My God. So we're still in the room. Just sending photos to each other and stuff. Yeah, like we've, we've been out on the patio for a little while. We made it back to the ship a while ago. It's like, you, it's like you're in a mob movie where... Oh, uh, is it just too dark? Just, just you in profile. Um, It's 2.27. It's still... We're here until like 7.30. We're here for a really long time. Yeah, lots of activity down on the board today. It's crazy. This, Lauren was looking at the excursions. There's people doing excursions. There's, there's ones leaving at 5.15. Yeah. So it's like all day it's excursions all day it must be like i don't know this this port must just it's a very heavy uh, excursion heavy port yeah, yeah. There's access to lots of things there's hiking and kayaking and two yeah there's a lot of different stuff to do trains. here from That's here a big one. yeah the train is huge it's like every hour or so there's like a new trade excursion but <clears throat> lauren hmm. we didn't show this when we came in we have a Gus. Yes, we got a Gus. I think he's got to be it's like a, be a, bear. a bear. Yeah. Right? Because we're in Alaska. Our little Alaska bear friend. <laughs> he's so cute. It's got to be a bear. He's cute, right? Hey, buddy. I'm going to put him now that he's been photographed and filmed. I'm going to put him in the closet. Next to the frog. Next to the frog. So you can see how many we get. He'll go right there. Like a shelf made for him. <laughs> hey, buddy. All right. Bye, guys. <laughs> See you later when we add more friends to the menagerie. Mm -hmm. It's interesting. Our guesses are coming in the morning. I don't know if they're... Because we read something, right? That they were going down to just one cleaning a day. We had read that, but she said she does it. She specifically said she she's here twice. She talked about twice. The first day, we had, she came twice. Yesterday, though, she only came the one time. Right. Granted, we were, like, in our room before eight and had the sign out so i don't know if we just missed her or what and then we'll see how many times she comes today she's come once so far so i don't know maybe they're just phasing it out or right. maybe it's only on c days because they know people are in their sure. room more and so maybe they which I mean, it's it more. Fine. Like, i don't know our room is not a mess no like, absolutely I'm, i don't think we need it i just want the guesses i'm barely comfortable with people coming in here once a day <laughs> yeah <laughs> i'm i'm only here for the guesses for the towel animals. I feel I don't so. like to be waited on. I don't know why I'm showing our shoes. I don't know either. I mean, they're great. They wore those two days in a row. I'm excited to not have to wear them, maybe. Tomorrow. In the next ports. We'll just have to see what the ports look like once we get there. Just normal shoes. <clears throat> yeah. Good anyway, enough. so it's almost three. Afternoon trivia is going to happen at three at the schooner bar. Um, so we're gonna do that and then bop around until we're ready for chops at 5.30? Yeah, 5.30. I bet if we show up at like 5.15, we'll get seated. Yeah, it's fine. Chops is definitely not one that I'm looking forward to. This is more of a for Devin dinner. Um, they have mac and cheese on the menu though. Yes. Like, but I'm just not, I'm not a steak person was what I was getting Oh, to. sure. Like, I'm not sure. a steak person. That is lost on me, the different cuts of steak. Um, so this is definitely more of a Devon thing. But yeah, I think there's still good things on the menu. We, you know, we made sure before we booked it. So it'll be interesting for sure. Yeah. I got chili sitting out on the <laughs> patio. So I'm in my sweater and I put shoes on. Um, yeah, so head down to Schooner Bar, get a spot. 
grab some more water probably because I don't think we've had enough water today. Probably not. My head hurts. <gasps> Maybe we can hide some ducks. <clears throat> that could be fun. Okay. I don't think we've had one in schooners yet. We've had them around schooners. Yeah. Well, you're not supposed to do it like in restaurants and stuff like that. So oh, that's true. You know, you don't want to get in trouble. Breaking the rules. Yeah. But we can, yeah, maybe around them or something like that on the way down. Like the Ray Cabrera song. Oh, I saw you. Okay, well, <laughs> Devin never joins me in my little singing moments. It's disappointing. It's one of Devin's cardinal rules. He doesn't sing. Doesn't make sense. Uh oh, did you get bit by something? Uh oh. You might I guess have. I'll check that out. Yeah, you might have gotten uh, some bug bites there. Hi. Yeah. So these petite things are amazing. Can I just do a amazing. tall hot chocolate, please? Yes. This looks. And could I get like an extra so couple good. pumps of the mocha? All oh, my headache, man. Right. You want the verdict? What's the verdict? Well, that's hot. Because it, it wasn't great on Adventure. A little better than Adventure. Yeah? Okay. No. It's very, very hot, but I think it might be slightly better. Yeah, slightly better. Nice. I asked for a couple of extra pumps, and I think that might have helped. So, that's okay. good. Right take on. it. I won't get it every day, like I do at home. <laughs> but this little treat is kind of nice. I miss it. Conquaculations, Lauren. I found a duck. I found it. This looks like the exact same set that you got off of Amazon. Yeah. I found it right here. Right outside Schooner. There. Annie Brothers from Lincoln, California. Very cool. I'll have to rehide it. Let's go over here. Oh, maybe near Wonderland. Oh, okay. Like on that big chair outside oh, Wonderland? Idea, yeah. Since it's not crowded right now, I can probably put it there. It's a little owl, a little pink owl. I That's think cute. we have one of these. Yeah, for sure. This is Wonderland, the restaurant. And there's like a big chair. Giant I hand. Think. Isn't there a chair? <laughs> right here. <laughs> All right, cruising duck. So he's got his little throne. We got obvious for the kiddos. <laughs> we did it. Good job, Annie Brothers. <laughs> That's fun. Okay, back on course. Yes. <laughs> we went the opposite direction, but I'm going to get there. 18. All right, yo, yo. True or false? You only have two options. To true get or false. This incorrect. <laughs> true or false. It snows in the Sahara Desert. It snows in the Sahara Desert. True or Thanks. false. Do you like my guess? Was anyone at the 70s party last night? But let's go so to sleepy. our next one, is number 15. Mm. The brand name Spam is a combination of what two words? The brand name Spam is a combination of what two what words? Spice and ham. Keep it clean. <laughs> Happy? Yeah. Good. You Enjoy. approve of our answer? Should we do a bonus question? Anyone say true? Because you're right. Well done. Again, I'm back. to say true. All right. Ladies and gentlemen, take a deep breath. It's all over, okay? Your stressing and worrying is done, 
Alright. Now, please, guys, I know this was a little bit oh tricky, but it was still interesting. We learned some <laughs> oh things today. God. If you have any complaints, it's really bad. go all the way down there, down on the floor one. to guest <laughs> services. Whoops. My name is Ricardo from Ecuador. Okay? Thank you. Alright. So, what I want you guys to tally, uh, I want you to tally up your scores. Summer. All five of your points. Okay. My name is Tristan. Lauren, I found all something. The way a duck? Ah, uh, yes. Country. And let's move on. Oh, so, <gasps> little baby, baby, baby duck. Baby duck. It's gonna be He's not labeled. Like That's so cute. We should you leave him there. Whoever put this here, you so are I'm great. Just play a I'm gonna put you back. Feels awesome. You can now, live there. It is up to you. It's cool. To, or you have the it's opportunity. It was worth it. Two points okay. during this trivia. Okay. So we're leaving so trivia. We did really poorly. He only got five out of sixteen. That was horrible. But the winning team only got ten. So like, and they. This it was is a the hard second, trivia. This is the second trivia in a row they've won. Yeah. So, so it's difficult. Yes. Um. So now they're Reddit doing in. like a country music thing. So we're gonna skip that and we're gonna try to find the library, which yeah. is a space that we haven't found yet. Oh. We. Duck is gone. Oh, nice. We think it's by uh, 270? The 270, so let's see if we can figure it out. Let's see. So this place is dead. There's literally nobody here. This is crazy. None of the guests are here. I know. I guess that's the way to do Skagway. Do an excursion early in the day and then you have the ship to yourself. You huh? just literally have the whole ship to yourself. This is nuts. Over there, it says the library. Lauren spotted it. It's kind of cool up here in 270. Yeah. This would be a cool spot to view the show from. Yeah, seriously. Oh, this is it. Lauren, daily trivia sheet. Oh, score. Found them. Bye. In Bill Clinton. Ugh, my life. That's a big book. And he looks young in that photo. Well, yeah, because it was written in like early 2000s, I think. These are cool chairs. Devin, look at this view. This is awesome. Duck. Look at this view. <coughs> From Corky and Heather, Ovation of the Seas. It's probably Corey. Corky Cor isn't. Oh, Corey. Would Sorry. Have an extra letter. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry, Corey. Um, congratulations. It's a baseball book. Wow. I know. Devin, I found another one. Oh my god. It's those brothers again. The Annie brothers? Yeah. Oh my god. Oh, you put that one I there. put that one there. Okay. Minecraft Doug. All right, Annie brothers. We got you. We're two. Lincoln, California again. Love it. We should put this one where you found the other one. Like, swap them. Got it. So hold on. Let me put this one where this guy was. <laughs> so when they go to check on it, they see a different duck. I love it. Okay. Sneaky. But look, I love these chairs in this view. Yeah, this is amazing. I kind of just want to... You can see the cruise ships. I kind of just want to sit here and read now. Yeah, I know, right? I'll have to go get our books. Up here. Oh. We can sit here for a little bit and I'll do my trivia sheet.
look at you all gussied up. And the same outfit I wore to my other dinner, and then I'll wear it to the other dinner. I brought one outfit. I Devin brought multiples. Looking a little, a little, I don't know. If people are looking for like super dressy, it ain't us. Because uh, I brought a fun shirt. This is Marvel. Picked it up in Disney. You guys will have downtown Disney. Yeah, I've already seen this it. shirt from the last videos that we took for Lauren's birthday. Mm -hmm. It's very comfy. I've worn it a lot. It is. It's really cute, and it's it's just a lot of fun. Yeah. Um. So we're going to Chops. Yeah, it's five ten. Our reservations at five thirty. So we're gonna head out to Chops. Um. Well, and if they're looking for fancy, they got it with my flamingo day bag, courtesy of Amazon. So and your mom. <laughs> and my mom. It's a birthday <laughs> gift. Um. Yeah, we're gonna head to Chomps. Let's go see some really good food. And try that for dinner. Devin's really excited. I'm excited too. Less excited than I was for Jamie's. Jamie's was definitely like my reservation. Chomps is like Devin, and then I feel like Izumi is both of us. Oh, I still wanna go back for that pasta. <clears throat> I do too. I asked you if we should make another reservation. <sighs> we could have ate there last night. Nice view of the lifeboats again. Morning. It's like Jamie's. This is fancy. <laughs> I'm glad you feel that way. Look at these, like Lauren pointed out. Look at these plates. They're fun shaped. Like even the little side, the little bread plates, fun shaped. Yeah, it's a little triangle. Mm hmm. This place is gonna be great. Yeah. Show the menu. Okay. <clears throat> New American. All right. So we've got. It's not New America, New American. Yeah, it's a New American city cast. Oh, okay. So these are your apps and your soups and salads. Gosh, can I eat any of that? Then you have no. your mains, sides, seafood, and then there's a separate menu for dessert. So all in all, I'm gonna load up on bad. the sides. Hell yeah. They're shareable portions. Nice. They won't be shared. <laughs> All right, so that we got bread. It looks like a pretzel bread and a wheat bread. Oh my god! It looks it's like an intelligence test. Amazing! It's got these fun little twists at the end of it. Thank but you then we got a whole crock of butter, which I'm excited about because it's like warm butter. It's not like cold. It's spreadable butter, yeah. I hate when they serve cold butter because you can't actually freaking eat it. Right. I'm just on a different plan, and I think. I was embarrassing myself every This is very exciting. Sorry, I'm, I apologize for chewing. Mm. We just got some pretzel bread. It was amazing. I'm... The wheat bread's good too. The wheat bread's good? Mm -hmm. It looks pretty good. I'm very excited for this whole thing. All right, so we got salad. Caesar, no dressing. Do you like it? Yeah, I mean, it's lettuce. <laughs> what I eat and at so home I tried for the lunch black every day bacon. at work. It is a little bigger than I thought it was going to be. Mm -hmm. So I guess we'll dive, dive in and try. Got a wedge salad there, Deb? So I got my wedge. Honestly, I forgot I ordered it. And it was like two seconds ago. You ordered the salad you forgot? I forgot I ordered it. Oh. Yeah, that's good. Healthy. <laughs> so cool. Okay, here's my half a chicken. I'll have to deconstruct. Our sides, the asparagus, the potatoes, the mac and cheese, and Devin's steak. What is it? It's a, a petite filet. No, it's a, just a normal filet. Petite filet, six ounces. This is a normal filet. Look good. Does it look good? Yeah. I'm on East Coast time, so it's. All right, Devin got apple pie. A la mode. A la mode, which means with ice cream. Ice cream. And then I got the warm chocolate cake with ice cream and berry compote. I could eat that. I thought it was going to be over the cake. Right. It was an issue. Yeah, that's just berries. That's just a garnish. Looks good. Every 
do. I love this music hall. I think this is such a pretty venue. It's so cool. Like that. Like, look yeah, how the pink chandeliers. That is in pink. Yeah. I think they can change the colors. So they've got some pink vibes going on in here, and it's really pretty. Yeah, it's a gorgeous venue. They really went nuts with the venues on this ship. It's amazing. Yeah, it's beautiful. Between like you know two seventies. I this. love two seventy. Oh I don't. Gosh. I think the only one that was kind of underwhelming is the theater. Agree. They uh, just kind of all look the same. Because it's yeah, they all look the same, and there's like bad seats and yeah, stage is kind of small. Yeah, agreed. <laughs> agreed, agreed. But this is super cool. Even yeah. the casino was pretty cool. Yeah, the one time we watched through we watched it. Through it. Yeah. <laughs> it's good. And it was empty and wasn't full of smoke. <clears throat> the arcade was a bummer, though. Yes, agreed. The arcade's bummer. Sports, the sports C, is cool, though. The, the C-plex is cool. Like, as a whole, it's a really neat venue. Like, the way that they have it organized, yeah. I think, is really cool. And that they can change out that rink so much is neat. Like, this is, like, a, a great ship for cold weather. Right. There's so many indoor spaces well, where you can still see outside. Right. But also, like, do things. But I, I just realized that the C-Plex floor in there does m way more, you know, because you've got the, the pickleball courts. Uh, they have they do the bumper cars. Bumper cars, you can That's skate. where they do the roller skates, too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so there's, it's like a big multi-purpose room. Yeah, yeah, it's like everything. Yeah, and on other ships, that's like an outdoor venue, obviously without the bumper cars or the roller skates, but... Right. The only thing I kind of wish they would have been able to to put on the ship would be maybe mini golf, which this ship is missing. Is what? Mini golf. Oh. So this ship is missing that. But like mini golf is typically on the... Uh, outside. The, the outside stern. And on the outside stern is the wind jammer. And then the flow rider. Cover and then the flow rider. No, you can take it. Yeah. But it's still a great ship. Differences, but great ship. Yeah. And this is amazing. Yeah, I love this place. It's so pretty in here. Oh, I think we're going to start soon. Nice. Ready to fail at more trivia? Nah, we'll be all right. <laughs> it's general knowledge trivia. Maybe she'll offer an 80s one. When she did the trivia yesterday, she offered 70s. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the music school. trivia. How are we all doing this evening? Woo! Do you ever ask if I'm ready? No. <laughs> I just assume you are. So it's 7.51. We're on our way down to see the comedian. Here he is. The headliner Showtime, Randy Cabral. He seems fun. Yeah. Intense. So, he, as seen on The Tonight Show, Jay Leno, comedy, juggling, and other useless skills. We're hoping it's like the balloon guy that was on Disney, because that was hilarious. Um, I'm also I go fairly down one certain more level. His, his show's tag was comedy, balloons, and other useless things. Well, there you go. So it's that a, must be a shtick. It is a shtick. Comedians. I'm sure it is, yeah. Um... We tried seeing Spectra's cabaret, but there were a lot of technical difficulties, so we left after like 15 minutes of it not being successful. Yeah, they just kept rebooting the six robot thing they talked about. And so it was much. mostly the screens behind, too, weren't working. Did you see? Oh, yeah, it was only like half done. Yeah, how they didn't have so it. It, just, it, it just wasn't nothing going. was working. No, so. Which is wild, because it was working two days ago when we saw it. I know. I'm glad that we got to see it at least once. We did. It was a wonderful show. If you yeah. Can, if you can see it, see it. Agreed. It was a lot of fun. Um, and then we went back to the room. We had to change batteries in our mic packs. Which guess is what? Else, crazy. Guess what else changed, dear listener? Our, were, our plans for tomorrow. Our entire plans for tomorrow. Yeah, in June. So we're skipping Mendenhall Glacier. We're gonna do something else. We're just a lot of reasons that we don't have to go into, but I think we've got a new plan, which we'll hopefully talk about tomorrow. I think this will be a better, it'll be a, a, smoother, so a smoother day, more us day. I think so too. And we won't get eaten alive by mosquitoes. Yes, that's hopefully the goal. Um, yeah, I think it, it, I think we both feel good about the plan. So we had to book a, a thing on uh, some tickets on the app while we were outside on our patio. No. We're still in in Sitka, or not Sitka, Skagway. Skagway. We haven't left yet. I think we'll uh, probably be leaving as we're in the show. Gangway up, comedian show on. It's yeah. time to go laugh. 
Yeah, you ready? You want to walk in? Let's yeah. walk in together. from the music hall again. What do you think of the show, Dev? Oh, it was great. It was Randy, good, right? Randy Cabral, he was excellent. He was awesome. It was a lot of fun. Mm -hmm. All the different juggling and stuff like that. Uh, but now we're back in the music hall. It's about 9.07. There's supposed to be 80s, it's supposed to be named that tune, 80s trivia, music trivia in here. Um, I don't know why it, the band that was playing in here before, I think, ran a little long. Yeah, they went really long. Even though they've been here since 7.15, Right? Said. Yeah. And then when I went down there to pick up the trivia paper, she was having trouble with her microphone, so yeah, hopefully yeah. she gets it figured out, because I want to play Name That Tune 80s. Yeah. I think I might do okay. I was not born in the 80s, but I grew up listening to 80s music with my parents, so yeah. I'm pumped. I'm bummed we missed the 70s one last night. I think I would have done well on that one too, but we'll see if I do okay on the 80s. Plus, these ones are always so fun because you get to like sing the songs. <laughs> and I love singing songs. So, hopefully, it'll get started soon. You tired? I'm getting there. Yeah, me too. This is probably our last thing tonight because we have to be up early tomorrow for the glacier viewing. I don't know how all these people are going to go do the 80s party and then be up by you know, four or five or whatever. I don't think they will. <laughs> they might not. <laughs> All right. Just wait it out. This is really easy. Yeah, I've never been more confident We're in trivia. Seven for seven. Oh, shit, I missed it. Yeah, I don't know. 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 I'm out of breath <laughs> <laughs> from the stairs. 80s trivia was fun. Back in our room, we're moving. It's gonna be chilly. Okay, quick. <laughs> so we're headed towards Juno and the Well, no, here. first we're headed toward Endicott Arms Glacier or whatever. Oh, it's beautiful. It's mother flipping gone. Can't tell how Lauren's cold. <laughs> Just like right there when the wind hits you. Ooh. We're really it's looking really at pretty too. though. God, look at those mountains. That's so pretty. Yeah, I have a feeling Devin's gonna sit out here while I read. <laughs> it's so pretty. Holy shit. It's just stupendous. I know those mountains are beautiful. So Tomorrow's an early morning. Yes. To get to do the glacier viewing. Devin might be up at four o'clock because he's excited. Yeah. And then um, I think we're gonna try to order breakfast yeah. to the room so we can eat while we watch a glacier and dress warmly so we can sit out here and enjoy now, if, it. If everything works out according to plan, we booked this side of the ship specifically for glacier viewing. So it Based should, on Brian and Carrie of Using Cues. It should work out, and we'll be sending a bill to Using Cues. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 100%. But I'm, I'm really excited. But I think that's going to wrap it up today, yeah? 
Yes. Thanks for watching. <laughs> Give it a thumbs up if you like it and hit subscribe. Um, and then stay tuned because it's glacier time in the next video. <laughs> Glaciers and Juno and other fun stuff. That That's what have. I should call it though. It's glacier time. <laughs> it's glacier time. It's like it's cookie time from <laughs> Troop Beverly Hills. But it's about glaciers. No one's gonna know that except you <laughs> and my mother. <laughs> <laughs> my mom would know it too. <laughs> okay. Bye. Right. Bye everybody. Bye.